All right. Hello once again, everybody. It's been a little bit of time. Music is awesome. Yada, yada, yada. This channel was supposed to be about music in all its forms, instruments and genres and singers and, and theories and whatnot has kind of devolved very quickly into kind of what I know. Uh, being, you know, very Western music, very, uh, probably a small, small window of music uh, compared to the grand scheme of things. But with that in mind, there's still plenty to, to explore and talk about and have you hear my thoughts. And the hope is that, uh, you know, with a comment or two, someone can say, hey, check this out. And I'll go, that's awesome. I will check that out, sir or madam. That's my disclaimer. All right. So Paul Gilbert. That's who I want to talk to about today, Paul Gilbert. He's a guitar player that I only came across maybe two years ago. Uh, he plays a style of guitar that uh, I'm not really into. It doesn't really interest me. It's a shredding guitar, hair metal guitar. I, I'll probably piss off. If anyone watch this, make them mad of how I'm describing it. The ability to go up and down the neck as fast as possible, uh, like a computer or a robot, doesn't really interest me. It's a skill that I'll never be able to attain, and it's impressive. With that being said, I would say that's his style, but he's incredible. Uh, besides being the, uh, uh, a great guitarist, I would say he's a great musician. In that, I mean, he lets other people talk, lets other instruments talk. And also, when he writes songs, it appears that he writes he'll have a lyric in mind that he'll write down and then he'll write a uh, guitar riff. Instead of singing it, he'll play the guitar. So so in his songs, they'll be much like a, a traditional Western rock song where it's a, it's a you know, verse and chorus and then a solo. And that's, I think, wonderful. I don't think that's unique. I think most people, you have a melody for instrumentals and you have a, a melody and you play it. Sorry, as per usual, I'm having trouble talking to it. The thing that sets him apart to me, is he just seems like a guy you love to chat with. Uh, with. With my knowledge of music, and I know people have more knowledge and some people have less, he seems, the, the, the lack of ego when he talks is so wonderful, and I'll like to say refreshing, because uh, he's a guy who would just talk down to basically everyone. And he doesn't. He talks with you know, a glint in his eye and joy in his voice, and he just talks about how music and chord progressions and you know flat nines and thirteenths and thirteens and, and uh he just seems like he's having a great time and that is what I think sets him apart from other shredders and that's what I'm talking about today. If you don't know this guy named Paul Gilbert, highly recommend checking him out. I'm stuck on his latest album right now. It's called like pre uh, the electric guitar or something something. But uh, just the joy and how he plays and what he writes is I, I would listen to him shredding over most anyone else shredding. So yeah, Paul Gilbert's the, the man, with the plan, the guitar, that rhymes, I swear. That's all I got. Um, check him out, Paul Gilbert. <laughs>